Next is wave particle duality. When people use this term, they'll say something like, an electron is sometimes a wave and sometimes a particle. And in this case, it sounds like it's a binary. It switches from one to being the other. Some people will say that an electron has particle-like properties and wave-like properties. And in this case, it sounds like they're saying that simultaneously it has these properties, but they're of a different character. When Heisenberg speaks, he says that we can imagine experiments with an electron going through it. And for part of the experiment, we can picture the electron as a wave. And for another part of the experiment, we can visualize it as a particle. And he goes on to say that you cannot completely think of an electron as a wave and you cannot think of it as a particle, so it's neither. And we're not allowed to visualize the quantum realm. He divides the world into the classical realm that you see around you and the quantum realm. And he says the quantum realm is basically unreal. I say, do not concern yourself with the phrase wave particle duality. If you go to quantum mechanics textbooks for physics students, you will not find wave particle duality taking up much space. In Introduction to Quantum Mechanics by Griffiths, he has it in a footnote of an afterword, and within two or three sentences, he just dismisses wave particle duality. Uh, in the graduate textbook, Sakurai, he has, he has no mention of it in his most modern textbook. So if, if we're not spending time teaching physics students this term, you don't need to spend time learning wave particle duality.